Welcome to Anita's Guide to Simple and Easy Cooking. I'm Anita and today I will show you how to make lasagna. So let's get started. I've got a kilo of mince here, some lasagna sheets, I'm using the dry ones today, three cups of boiling water, three cans of diced tomato, which are 400 grams each can, three tablespoons of tomato paste, one tablespoon of chicken stock powder, I've got pepper to taste, some mixed dried herbs, about a tablespoon, a tablespoon of sugar, I've got some chopped shallots here, two small onions all chopped up, salt to taste, I'm going to crush up this garlic. So let's start cooking our mince. Put your pan on medium heat, we're not going to use any oil, I'm just going to use a non-stick cooking oil, that's all you need. Just put your mince in and we're going to fry this mince for 5 to 10 minutes till it's nice and brown. My mince has been cooking for 5 minutes now, just have to cook. Um, maybe another three minutes before I add my onion and garlic so we'll come back in three minutes and have a look and make sure you break up the lumps as you go my mince is cooked now and as you can see the liquid is starting to come out of the mince and after I start frying it further the mince is gonna keep cooking and this all is gonna dry up and don't worry about any extra fat that comes out of the mince is after we have made the meat sauce we're gonna skim all the fat out so now what you're going to do is add your onions and your garlic, herbs in, sugar, you're going to add about tomato paste. I'm just going to put about a quarter teaspoon of pepper at the moment and a teaspoon of salt. Give it a good mix. Now we're going to add our tomatoes, the chicken stock powder, our shallots. And the water mix well and we're gonna bring this to a boil my meat sauce started to boil now I'm gonna lower the heat cover the lid and let this simmer for about 20 minutes and while this is simmering we're gonna go and make our cheese sauce to make the cheese sauce we need one liter of milk I've got two cups of grated tasty cheese salt to taste I've got pepper which I'm just gonna add quarter teaspoon at first and then taste and see three tablespoon of butter and quarter cup of plain flour so let's get started put your pan on medium heat and we'll just wait for a minute just till the pan heats up my pan is hot now so I'm gonna add my butter and wait for it to melt the butter has just about melted add your flour and keep mixing using a whisk just make sure all the butter and the flour is incorporated properly and we're gonna cook this for one minute because we want to cook the flour my flour and butter has been cooking for one minute we're gonna turn the heat off and we're gonna add about half a cup of milk at first and make it into a smooth paste keep mixing till all the lumps are gone breaking up the lumps as you go as you can see all the lumps are gone now slowly add the milk with one hand and keep whisking with the whisk so everything gets mixed well now we're going to put the heat back on put it back on medium again and keep stirring and bring it to a boil my milk has started to boil now so now we're going to add our cheese and also if you like you can add about a tablespoon of parmesan cheese at this stage we're going to add about quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper give it a good mix we want the cheese to melt and i'm just going to taste my cheese sauce to see if it needs any more salt and pepper my salt and pepper are fine now i'm just going to cook this for one more minute and turn the whole thing off the meat sauce has been cooking for 20 minutes now i've tasted my salt and pepper everything is fine i'm going to turn the heat off now that my cheese sauce and my meat sauce is ready it's time to assemble our lasagna before we start assembling make sure you preheat your oven so what we're going to do is take a baking tray and a non-stick cooking oil we just lightly spray the bottom and that's all you need so first i'm going to put my meat sauce in the bottom of my pan just a thin layer and i'm going to put a little bit of my cheese sauce 
now we're gonna put our lasagna sheets you can break them up and fit it according to the shape of your baking tray that you'll be using and I'm gonna repeat the process with my meat sauce my cheese sauce and then lasagna sheet I'll keep doing that and when I come to the top and then I'll let you know what to do I have just about finished layering my lasagna make sure you finish it off with meat sauce so now after you have done your meat sauce we'll use the rest of the cheese sauce that we have made we'll have to completely cover our meat sauce with the cheese sauce before we can sprinkle our tasty cheese on top just take your time from one side just pour it in slowly I'll finish spreading the rest of my cheese sauce and then we'll continue I have finished spreading my cheese sauce now it's time to sprinkle our cheese I'm using tasty cheese but you can use tasty cheese or you can use a mixture of tasty and mozzarella cheese whatever you want to do it's up to you and then we'll pop it in the oven I finished sprinkling my cheese my lasagna is ready to go in the oven and it should go in there anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes or until you get a nice light golden color so just keep an eye on it if you get a nice light golden color just pop it out and then we'll be ready to serve with some salad my lasagna is ready it took me 40 minutes to get this nice light golden color i'm ready to serve it my lasagna is ready and today i will be serving it with some salad and garlic bread enjoy if you like this recipe please give it a big thumbs up for more of my simple and easy recipes please subscribe to my channel